Hey everybody, last week we looked at this almighty TNT cannon and I told you that I would build it using this experiment over here to what I believe to be the maximum height that a reusable TNT cannon can be built to, which is a height of 75 blocks. And so, let us visit our new <laughs> giant ass TNT cannon. So uh, this is the prototype, uh, the first one actually that I built, and I yes, I mean first one because that's the other one over there. But uh, basically, this uh, block thing on the sides, these little fins here, they're blast shields, so any failed shots don't destroy my circuitry. Um, the blast chamber does go all the way up, 75 blocks high, and uh, the only problem is that the, there's a lot of See these pairs of uh, inversions? To uh, I marked each pair with two gold blocks and two silver blocks on this side just to count them. And I think there's like uh, 13 or 14 different pairs. So so like uh, 14 times 2 is 28, 13 times 2 is 26. So that's how many uh, repeat delays there should be from the bottom from the top. And uh, I don't even know how many there is. There's like... Uh, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30, 32, 34, 36. So 36, uh, 36 tick delay, I guess, from the top to the bottom. Not, I, I was thinking 13 pairs, that's probably where I got from, or whatever. Anyway, uh, trying to uh, set up repeaters uh, was massive, like so. It was just so massive off the structure, and it uh, looks really nasty. But I decided to do one side and grind it out, so I did. And uh, I tried testing it by uh, putting one up here, and putting another one down here. And if my theory was correct, they should both blow up at the same time. And, uh, shit. Let's get us uh, a button. And that works. Now, if we go on like a... The problem I found was initially it didn't work on the bottom because I had too many repeaters because I obviously there's got to be some incorrect calculation, like those things probably don't equal out to exactly one tick. So I'll show you again with this one, and uh, we will blow it up now. Just listen to it. A, because that side isn't set properly, but yeah, it doesn't work. Just trust me on it, it doesn't work. They don't blow up at the same times on their intervals. And uh, so I said, fuck it, there's got to be an easier way. That's when I realized that this was possible. Redstone can go back and forth through blocks if the blocks are glowstone. Like, redstone current can go diagonally through, uh, like, so it could go vertical, yeah, so fuck. And, uh, I'm sorry, I'm just so tired right now. <laughs> but I gotta get this video out, because I just spent an hour and a half, two hours, testing my new cannon just to make sure it's perfect, and I need to s switch out a few things. So anyway, this is the new model of TNT cannon. Um, as you can see, it sort of looks like a sword. Sort of, I try and... I tried to build it so it looked like a blade, so it's like a giant sword cannon, I, don't know, I thought it looked cool. There's a set of repeaters on each one of these, and uh, they're both set to one tick, so it's just two, four, six, eight, ten ticks. So theoretically, the ones at the top should be ten ticks delayed, or the ones at the bottom should be ten ticks delayed from the ones at the top to allow the electricity to travel up here before it detonates the ones at the bottom first. So here we have... Uh, one tick delay, so the bottom should be a, a tw 11 tick delay, so we have 4, 8, 12, 13, 14, we have a 14 tick delay, 
So obviously something is a little haywire on here, but I've tested it because I calculated what it should be and then it didn't work. I had to add a bunch of ticks going back down and uh, it works now. So without further ado, I will show you my lovely TNT cannon. And uh, it is set to detonate itself because I have uh, this area down here. So everything is lovely, and uh, the reason why it's shaped like a sword is because I had a huge explosion by accident and it blew up a lot of my cannon. And uh, because it blew up a lot of my cannon, I needed a bigger blast shield, so then I extended it out to like here, but then I thought, nah, I probably won't need it, I'll do it like the shape of an explosion, and then I thought, why not make it into something cool, like a sword, and there we go, a sword! Alright, and our lovely TNT cannon is loaded with 598 shots of TNT in the blast chamber. Oh, baby. And I just noticed that on the minimap itself, it looks like a sword. <laughs> There's fucking bats around here somewhere. Anyway. We're going to see how nuts this bitch is. Here we go. Yep, prepare for lag. Oh. I don't th I don't think that went anywhere that was supposed to go. Okay, I've reloaded this bitch, and uh, I'm going to try to fire myself out of it this time. Just to see uh, how much force it actually has, since we can't tell, because of the TNT, it lags so hard. But uh, I'll just double check if the ignition is working. Yeah. So I don't know why it didn't ignite like that last time, probably because it's fucking glitchy. Okay, I gotta fly like a mad fucker to get there in time, let's go. <laughs> oh my fucking god. Look how high up we went. I gotta do that shit again just to, just to uh, check how high that. No, I had that on the minimap. I'll just have to go back. I wasn't paying attention. But, uh, okay, I'll, I'll, near, I'll, I'll uh, fly back to where we started. Wait, where the fuck is the cannon? It's over here. Okay. Holy shit. It's a lot of power. Now imagine if I was in survival. That was me in creative mode. Is there any way that I could get here in time if I was to do this? In survival mode. Okay, I'm now in creative mode. And I've set a waypoint using Ray's minimap right at the mouth of the cannon, so you can see how far away we get blown if I make it there in time. I'm hoping I'll be able to, because what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to hit this button, I'm going to have to run through this trench, and then I'm going to have to jump here and make it to here in my protection for armor before this detonates, so I only have like, eight, I, don't, I don't even know how long it takes. Not a long time. I don't have a very long time at all, so I'm going to have to do this really carefully. Go! Oh, 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 what's that? About 800 and some meters up. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, shit. Here come the clouds. Oh, shit. And escape. Oh, escape. And let's try, let's try this trick again. I think I saw it in the patch notes, but I'm not sure if this still works. <laughs> Look at that, about 200 and some meters away. 
see if it renders up over here. Okay, that just about rounds everything up. And uh, I really hope you guys enjoyed this cannon video. And I think it's uh, probably one of the craziest cannons I've ever seen. In fact, I think it's the craziest cannon I've ever seen. And it makes me that much happier that I designed it entirely myself. And uh, it took a lot of effort going from various different stages, such as putting down 6,000 billion repeaters and setting them all to four ticks and building multiple cannons and all sorts of shit, all the testing that went into it, the inspiration for it all in my little redstone world here. And uh, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you with another video eventually, maybe next week, maybe eventually. Probably.